In this problem, we are given the graph of a line and asked to determine the slope of any line parallel to the given line, as well as the slope of any line perpendicular to the given line. Let's start by determining the slope of the given line. Let's select two points on the line that have integer coordinates. Let's select the vertical intercept of zero comma negative five. And let's also select this point here with an ordered pair of three comma negative one. And now from here we could use these two ordered pairs to determine the slope using the slope formula. But since we already have the graph of the line, let's determine the slope graphically. The slope is equal to the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. So if we move from the point on the left to the point on the right, notice how we have to go up four units, and therefore the vertical change or the change in y is positive four, and then we have to go right three units, and therefore the horizontal change or change in x is positive three. And therefore the slope of the given line, which we'll call m sub one, is equal to four thirds. And now for a quick review, if two lines are parallel, they do not intersect and therefore they have the same slope. Here's an example of two lines that are parallel that have the same slope. If two lines are perpendicular, they intersect and form a 90 degree angle at right angle. Perpendicular lines always have slopes that are negative reciprocals of one another. The fraction A over B and the fraction of negative B over A are negative reciprocals of one another. Here's an example of two lines that are perpendicular, and notice how the slopes are negative reciprocals of one another. So going back to our example, since the given line has a slope of four thirds, the slope of any line parallel to the given line must also be four thirds. And the slope of any line perpendicular to the given line must have a slope that is a negative reciprocal of four thirds. So if the given line has a slope of four thirds, m sub two, the slope of any perpendicular line must have a slope that is a negative reciprocal of four thirds. To find the negative reciprocal, we interchange the numerator and denominator and then change the sign, which gives us negative three fourths. Informally, we could think of flipping the fraction over and changing the sign. And let's verify this graphically. Again, the given line is a black line that has a slope of four thirds. The red line is an example of a parallel line, and notice how it has the same slope of four thirds. The blue line is an example of a perpendicular line because it intersects the given line in a right angle. And notice how the perpendicular line does have a slope of negative three fourths, which is a negative reciprocal of four thirds. I hope you found this helpful.